Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm going to quickly go over how and why to sand your resin piece. Here I have a set of 8 resin beach coasters, which I'm going to be sanding and top coating. One of the reasons why you may need to sand and re-top coat your piece is due to film or amine blush. This happens when the humidity level is too high and moisture gets trapped in your resin while it's curing. This can leave what looks like a weird residue on your surface, but it's very easy to fix. The first thing is to make sure that you're not working with resin and especially not top coating when the humidity level is too high. I recently got this device which reads the temperature and the percentage of humidity in the air and I would highly recommend this to anyone who's working with resin and I'll leave a link in my description below if you're interested in purchasing one just like this. It's recommended that you work in 55% humidity or less to not run into any problems. So there's two ways that you can sand your piece and the way that I was using for the longest time is sandpaper. This is P800 sandpaper and I would just rip off a small piece and either dip that piece into water or pour a drop of water onto my resin piece and sand with my hand in a circular motion. I recently invested in this sanding tool which makes things a hundred times easier and you're able to sand a lot quicker and with a lot less effort. So I also highly recommend getting a similar tool. And again, I'll have links in my description. I pour a small amount of water onto each coaster. And the reason I do this is so that the dust from sanding doesn't go flying all over. Wetting your sandpaper or your resin piece allows all the residue to stay either onto the coaster or your sandpaper. Although while you're sanding, you do want to make sure that you're wearing a respirator mask so that just in case you don't inhale any of those small resin particles. As I mentioned, using this gadget is super easy and takes only a couple of seconds for each piece. Another reason you may need to sand your resin piece is if several days or more has gone by before you're doing another layer. For example, I have these kiwi coasters which have been sitting for some time and I'm finally going to top coat them. I want to make sure that this new layer of resin that I'm adding is going to bond to this first layer. And to do so, I'm going to just sand my pieces. I especially make sure that I sand the edges very well. So using my sanding machine, I just go very quickly and sand all of the edges. On the contrary, this is how I would sand my piece with the sandpaper. Which as I previously mentioned, requires a lot more time and strength and effort. And I wipe off any residue with an alcohol wipe. And now I'm ready to top coat, so I mix my part A and part B resin together and get ready to pour. If you're interested in seeing the whole process of how we do our top coats, I'll leave a video linked above. Another extra step you can take before top coating to reduce the amount of moisture and humidity on your piece is torching. So right before you're about to top coat, you can take a torch gun to your resin piece very quickly and be very careful with this so that you don't burn your piece. But while you're torching your piece, you'll actually be able to see some of the moisture leaving. And then you're ready for your new coat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.